Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed, and today we're here visiting the Painted Ladies here in San Francisco, California. Hey there everyone, hold on just one second. Ah, that's much better. Anyways, you guys, you heard that right. Today we're exploring one of the most iconic and emblematic locations here in the city. I am referring to the Painted Ladies. I think it's gonna be really interesting because I haven't posted a video about San Francisco in a while now. And it's funny because a lot of my content in my channel is about this city. I have visited all of the cool locations here in the city, including the Golden Gate Bridge, the Castro District. I've been on a cable car and I also visited Alcatraz. So if you guys are interested in more San Francisco content, I'll leave a link to the playlist in the description down below. The goal for this video is going to be very simple. I want to first make my way there. I want to show you around and then I want to tell you a bit about the history of that place. So if you guys are interested, come with me. All right, you guys, just like that, we made it here to Alamo Square Park. The Painted Ladies are actually just the street across from this park. Uh, they're actually across from uh, Steiner Street, if I'm not mistaken, which should be over yonder. Check out that amazing view, you guys. You can already tell why this place is so popular. And as you're walking through the park, you'll see circles just like this one, indicating where people can sit down in order to practice safe social distancing. And chan chan chan, here is why we're here for. Check it out you guys, these are the Painted Ladies, these seven houses right here. These houses go by different nicknames other than the Painted Ladies. People also like to call them the Seven Sisters. As I mentioned before, this is a cluster of seven houses. And uh, another nickname they give them is Postcard Row. I actually think that Postcard Row is the best nickname for this place. Let me tell you why. Postcard Row or the seven ladies appear in mass market photographs of the city of San Francisco. So you will see these on postcards, you will see these on posters, you will see these on buses and on TV. These are so popular that it is estimated they have made an appearance in over 70 movies, TV shows and ads. This includes the opening credits of the series Full House and then the new version Fuller House. None of which I've seen by the way. So I think we can assume that everyone knows about this place since it's so dang popular. But actually not everyone knows about the story behind this place. That's what I want to talk to you guys about today. So Painted Ladies in the sense of the word is actually a movement. This is when Victorian and Edwardian houses were painted three or more colors in order to accentuate their architectural beauty. Now you might be asking, what are Victorian and Edwardian houses? Well, this is simple. These were basically houses that were constructed during the reigns of Queen Victoria and King Edward VII of England. King Edward VII being the son of Queen Victoria. The term Painted Ladies was first used here in San Francisco. It was referenced in a book in 1978 to describe very colorful Victorian houses here in the city. However, ever since then, the term is now more broadly used in order to include groups of other colorful Victorian houses in other American cities. So you can find painted ladies here in San Francisco, in New Orleans, in Ohio, in Massachusetts, etc. During the 1906 earthquake of the city of San Francisco, a big portion of the city was destroyed, including a lot of these Edwardian and Victorian houses. Thousands did survive on the western and southern parts of 
the city, but a lot of these houses were gone. Many of these houses that did survive were eventually demolished, and those other ones were repainted gray with surplus navy paint during the First and Second World Wars. So a lot of these places that did survive in the end lost all their color. The story of how these houses regained their unique colors is very interesting to me. It all started with one artist who decided to repaint his house with bright colors. At first his neighbors were reluctant. You could imagine like all the, the block was gray and his house was the only one with bright colors. But eventually they decided to copy him and they changed the face of this neighborhood. The artist realized that this could become something bigger so he decided to partner with other artists in order to make this a movement. And by the 70s the so-called colorist movement had changed the face of multiple neighborhoods in the city of San Francisco and believe it or not that movement is still alive today. When somebody says the painted ladies, they're not referring to the movement that I just described to you guys. More specifically, they're referring to the most popular group of painted ladies here in San Francisco. And like I mentioned at the beginning, this cluster of seven houses right in front of Alamo Square Park are the most famous painted ladies here in the city of San Francisco. So these right here, you guys, are the painted ladies for visitors and people who don't know the story I just told you guys about. And to be honest, you guys, that was me not so long ago. I didn't know the story, even though I've been living here for two years. And uh, I remember that the first time that I made my way over to San Francisco, one of my friends, uh, a local, brought me here. He was like, yeah, this is one of the most popular places in San Francisco. And I was like, okay, I guess I have to take a picture but I didn't understand why they were so popular honestly I didn't get it at all but now that I live here and now that I know this story I can appreciate this place that much more back you guys so besides just coming here to visit the painted ladies over there taking a picture or two maybe there's other things that you can do around the area one of the options of course is to visit Alamo Square Park as I mentioned at the beginning this park is right across from the painted ladies and it's a beautiful green space that is very relaxing it's in the middle of all these buildings you can come here to just walk around if you have a dock you can bring it here I think there's a dock park on the other side and there's also benches where you can sit down there's a lot of people doing picnics running and exercising so there's a lot of things you can do in this park i'm walking to one of the corners of the park right over here and check out this view you guys right over there that thing let me zoom in that over there you guys is sutro tower that is really close to twin peaks another popular destination here in san francisco i already made a video of that place so if you guys want to check it out you guys i'll leave it in the description below as well but i'm not lying when i say you guys that this place is full of amazing views check it out i'm just moving to the right to the right and check out you can see all of the different views you can get from this park I found this group of kids skating right here you guys want to say hi what's up, uh, what's up? go subscribe and uh this little kid right here is gonna show us a trick, so let's see. Alright, thank you guys. Bye. Thank you for the tricks. That was so fun, you guys. Those guys were really nice and uh, they had some really cool tricks to show us. Moving on to the last thing that I want to show you guys. This place is also located right across from the park and I think you can already tell what it's gonna be. Do you see? What I want to show you guys is a couple of murals that are really close to the painted ladies. The painted ladies are right over there and the murals are right here. So in the same road, Steiner Street. So these murals right here, you guys, they're not super old. I don't think I remember seeing them the last time that I was here. It is a relatively new addition to this place. With that said, these murals are really, really nice. And just like the painted ladies at the time, these were created in order to make this place 
that much more beautiful. I think I speak for the majority of people when I say that these are really nice and they would make for an amazing Instagram background. So if you ever make your way over to the Painted Ladies, don't forget to just walk a few more feet and you'll make your way to some really cool murals. you guys I don't know if there's a better way to end this video than right here right in front of the painted ladies hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did I'm gonna ask you to please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more interesting travel videos just like this one anyways you guys just to remind you to be kind have an open mind I'll see you next time